Hello guys, um, welcome to the fifth part of this advanced Ajax pagination tutorial and um, in this tutorial video we're going to be looking at how to add next and previous links to our um, JavaScript pa Ajax pagination okay alright so first of all what we're going to do is we're going to come inside of our page links here and actually add a element inside there so um, we're going to be doing it like this so we're going to say previous and give it a href of hash and then after that inside still inside the page links we add another a tag after the sorry after the ul elements and href of hash right and this one we're going to give it a text of next and the first a tag we're going to give it a class of say previous link and the next a tag gonna give it a class of um, next link sorry all right and then let's just go in our browser and I just refresh and see what we have okay all seems to be fine so let's just style this quickly just load it these to the left and so we'll have the, all of them on the same line all right so we go back in our style.css and add a new element styling here and then we'll target the page links and what we want to target is the a types inside there so what we want to do we want to float them to the left so we give them floats left Okay. and also the ul tag as well float left basically what that's going to do is put all the links li tags and each of the um, next and previous links on the same line let's float and um, yeah alright but we're not gonna be bothering about styling these that much basically I just want them to be on the same line so when you click next it just changes these and one more thing to note as well since when you hover over these um, when you hover out of them they don't persist the styling that they have basically as you can see the black background of the li tag so we want to persist that when the user clicks on number two we want that number two to have this styling when the ajax um, results return so just to prepare for that we'll create another class called active link and basically the active link has the same styling as this um, hover element over here so we'll just do the same so we'll say li any li with the class of active link basically we'll just give it that um, styling same one okay all right so now let's go in our custom.js and actually start writing some javascript to handle that next and previous click links okay So we're going to be first creating a variable up here called current link number. So, and by default, when the page first loads, that's going to be number one. So basically, what that means is, um, let me just show you quickly. When the first first when the page first loads, sorry, um, we want the first link to be the one that's highlighted. So it's the active one. So it will have the class of active link that we created in our stylus CSS. Right, so now that we've have current link number as um, the first one, what we want to do is we want to go in our um, load post over here and actually do some checking over there. So basically, we want to check um, in the for loop. We say if the um, index equal to current link number, we want to say um, we want to target that um, we want to target this link here that's being appended because anytime you do an Ajax call um, when it goes to the server to fetch your list of posts the list of posts might have been changed by some other user let's say you have a blog that's a multi-blog user so anytime that it fetches results it comes back with fresh data so basically you can have five links on your page currently like here and then Next time it goes to your server to fetch new posts, there might be like um, 
six links here because more posts have been added right that's why anytime we go to the server we keep on um, we change the links again like reappend them to the page so instead of having the same links there um, the links will change depending on how many posts you have all right so we say if index equals the current link number um, let's actually store this link the save uh, link equal to so basically um, that link is what will contain what current link being appended so say this that um, add class uh, what class do we want to add is active link as we say in our style sheet so it's active link um, and we want to take the siblings of that link and remove the class from them so we say remove um, class link okay 